This is an introduction to Acorn's Paint Tool. The Paint Tool has a brush icon and its keyboard shortcut is B. We have the image of a shell already opened and we're going to work on painting on top of it. The first thing you should know about Acorn's Paint Tool is that it uses the color from the top color well. Right now we have it set to black, but if you click on it, it will open up the colors palette and we can change it to something like pink or green or whatever. Then we can click on the canvas to begin painting. We can modify the brush size in the inspector palette. While drawing on the canvas, we can quickly adjust the brush size using the right and left square brackets on the keyboard. You'll notice that the cursor preview updates in size as we use these keyboard shortcuts. Next, take a look at the opacity slider. Normally when we're drawing, we see pixels come through at 100% opacity. If we lower our opacity, we can see the pixels behind. If we lift up with the mouse and draw on top of the area that we just drew, you'll notice the pixels get darker. The paint builds up. This is useful for touching up photos or for interesting drawing techniques. Now let's click on the brush drop down menu. You can see there's a variety of brushes to choose from. You can see a quick preview of what the brush looks like. The best thing to do is play around with the brushes on the canvas. If you'd like to create your own brush or modify the brush you're using, click on the brush designer cogwheel button in the inspector palette. From there, you can modify many variables, including flow, spacing, and rotation, and your changes will be updated in real time in the preview window. For a complete rundown of what all the variables do, be sure to read Acorn's written documentation. So there's a neat trick for turning your brush into an eraser. You can hold down both the option and command keys and use your brush like you normally would, only now it acts as an eraser. To constrain your brush stroke to making straight strokes, click to lay down some paint and then hold down the shift key where you want your stroke to end on the canvas. This is a great way to paint in straight lines. Finally, let's go over how to restrict your drawing to a certain area of your canvas using a selection. We're going to use the freehand selection tool. Add a selection to your canvas by clicking and dragging with the freehand tool. You'll notice that as I draw, the selection prevents any brush strokes from being applied outside the bounds of the selection. This is a great technique for limiting your strokes to a specific area. For many more helpful tutorials on the paint tool, be sure to check out Acorn's written documentation.